Hey, hello everyone. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to practice how to calculate the um, corresponding Z scores when given a data set using Jamovi and how to calculate the area under the uh, normal distribution. So data set here uh, you're looking at is uh, the simulated visual acuities of 500 American Air Force jet fighter pilot candidates. So um, you should be able to find this file in GCU Learn 2 in uh, Excel sheet. So let's just uh, look at um, this data and convert all this score into the Z scores. But if you want to convert any scores to Z scores, the first thing you need to know is the mean and the standard deviation of the data set, right? Um, if you still remember the, uh, the the formula to convert the raw score into the Z score. So Z equals X data minus the mean of the data, mu, and that's um, that goes in the numerator. And then that difference between the data and the mean is divided by the standard deviation of the data set. So let's calculate... The mean and the standard deviation of oh before we do that actually um we need to name the variable properly so instead of just saying a um say i'll just pilot va okay and then run the analysis so because what we need is really mean and the standard deviation at this point so um we'll just tick those two boxes only and move the variable and voila we have um, the mean and the standard deviation now we go back to the data and we use this compute function to um change all this raw score into the z score all at once instead of calculating the individual z scores um, the datum by datum so um, this is just a given by jamovi so we're going to just change it to some meaningful name zva okay, so this is a standard score of the visual acuity measurement so once we name this then you can we can actually use that formula so um we want to change uh, the log mar VA into uh, the Z score. So you can move the whole variable into that equation. And then you minus the mean of. Oh, where did it go? Oh, there we go. So mean of uh, pilot VA, which is negative 0 0.186. Uh, 0 186. So negative negative becomes plus so 0 0.186 and this difference is divided by the standard deviation. Okay, so that's 0.711. So if you just hit enter, then it'll give you the individual corresponding z scores right so you know the log mar va of negative 0 0.171 and uh, the corresponding z score is 0 0.205 so this is um within uh, the one standard deviation actually above the mean so that is uh, how you calculate the uh, z scores from the raw data. So let's just run some descriptive analysis uh, for these two variables. So go to analysis, descriptive. Now, let's see what we have. Um, standard deviation, and then plots. Let's do histogram. Okay. And we're going to move both variables together. Great. 
Right, so here we have the descriptive um, statistics um, display side by side for each variable. And then we have a histogram for the standard score. See, it is centered at zero, right? The mean of the original distribution. Mean is about like a negative 0.2, and then that becomes zero. And if we look at the mean, right? So it is not exactly zero, but you know, if you remember the properties of a standard normal distribution, you know, whatever normal distribution is converted to standard normal, then the mean becomes zero, which is close enough, I guess. And then the standard deviation of one, right? So this is um, kind of an illustration uh, how a normal distribution. So it is, it, it does look like a you know, normal distributed, right? It is not perfect normal distribution, but more or less it is normally distributed. And if you convert these scores into Z scores, then you're going to have exactly the same distribution. It is just them. Um, the x-axis change the relative location of the x-axis change so the you know when you have the original score on the x-axis um, after you convert it to z score now the x-axis in the unit of standard deviation so how how far each individual score uh, is away from the center so that's basically what the standard distribution is um, mean and median is close enough, uh, but mode is not quite, but, you know, all these three central tendency measures are uh, within quite close proximity together, which is another property of the normal distribution. So now let's take a look at, you know, how we can calculate um, area under uh, the normal distribution. So to do so, uh, we need to install kind of extra module. Um, that's what they call um, it's kind of extra package of uh, statistical analysis. So if you just click on this module, the plus, then it'll show you, well, I already installed all these modules before, so that's why it's all listed, but you probably won't see this. But um, there should be an option for you to um, install um, the modules. So if you just click on this, manage um, installed library. So here are a list of uh, modules you can actually add onto the basic Jamovi. And among these, what you need is is this oh, um, available. Okay. Um, The distraction. So this is what should uh, what we need to calculate the um, the quantiles or the uh, the summed probability on under the uh, normal distribution. So you install this, and it's pretty quick. And once you install the module, then it'll show up in the menu. So if you want to be a pilot for jet fighter then obviously you need to have a you know, very sharp visual acuity. And it has been reported that the average log mar visual acuity for the, uh, the jet fighter pilots are um, is um, actually 6 over 4. And then the American um, Air Force actually even demand a um, 6 uh, 3 vision for the pilots to operate on a ultra high resolution flight simulator. So as such, you, so imagine that you are uh, an instructor or the director of an Air Force base, and you wanna weed out the proportion of a pilots whose visual acuity is worse than 6.3. So then you need to find out the, uh, the summed probability or the area under the curve enclosed by the visual acuity of 6 over 3 and to the right end of the curve, right? So here, um, you know, somewhere here, you know, 6 over 3 located and then 2 here because, you know, positive log acuity means 
you have you know worse visual acuity right so you want to find out you know how many um you know what proportion of pilot candidates you need to actually filter out so to do that then first you need to um calculate the other log mar visual acuity the corresponding and log mar visual acuity to the snail and fraction of six over three so let's just uh, calculate you know what that is so we can just uh, do the compute again find that so that's just um snail and to log r so it's quite simple to convert snail and fraction to log mar so if you're given snail and fraction then you want to use log base 10 and in fact if you click on this um you know function then you will find um the number of functions you can use so this is kind of a um you know preset functions you can use and you can just type these functions manually like this but when you type these functions in um by hand you have to uh, make sure that um, all the cases are uh, the capitalized and uh, if you're using exactly the same format um as a, a preset movie function right, so it's a log 10 and that you you need to flip the snell and fraction right so it was six over three but now you flip it so that you make it three over six and then you can um obtain the log mar visual acuity from the snell and fraction if you just enter then it is not like Excel uh, that you can use like a single cell to um, show the calculation result, but it is this whole variable, whole column becomes the same number, right? Like this. Um, but, you know, uh, this is just what it is. Anyhow, so the uh, corresponding um, log mark visual acuity to the Smella fraction of 6 over 3 is negative 0.301. So it's actually here, right, a, in this histogram. And then you're going to just read out all the proportion to the right, right, from negative 0.3 to the right. So then how do we calculate the proportion under um, this distribution? So that's where you need to go to this function. So um, there are different distributions we can use. But for uh, the current tutorial, we're going to use normal distribution. Right, so um, you need to know uh, the uh, specifics about the normal distribution, the mean and the standard deviation. So the mean was negative 0.186, and the standard deviation was point oh seven one one right so to find out the area under the curve you need to tick this box compute probability and then uh where you have to enter the a specific score you want to calculate the um areas up to so that is negative three point 301. So that is the log mar visual acuity, the cutoff log mar visual acuity, right? To uh, filter out uh, the um, the candidates whose visual acuity is worse than this. So, and if we, so this portion is not what um, we want to get rid of. It is actually this, right? So, um, and what's the area? Oh, right, here we go. So the area under the curve, so that's the you know, summed probability from the cutoff score to the right side of the histogram. So um, actually you need to uh, weed out almost like a 95% of the candidates because they don't 
uh, have a good enough visual acuity to be a pilot. So this is it for the um, this week's tutorial, and um, it is now your turn to do the task. Uh, uh, thank you for listening, and I'll see you later.